everybody, it's me Mukil again. Today we're gonna make a mini gun. This is what you need to make the mini gun. Tape, a rubber band, two sheets of paper, a popsicle stick, and a scissor. So the first step is fold both of the papers. I wanna make it faster, so I'm the, um, I'm putting one paper on top of another and folding it. And then cut both of them in half. And now I am going to Take two papers and put it at the side and then use these two. So I'm gonna roll it top to bottom. I'm gonna use a pencil to help me roll it like this. And then now I need to put the popsicle stick inside. The popsicle stick, you actually don't need it. If you put it, it's just a little more powerful. I'm gonna put tape on the ends so the popsicle stick doesn't fall out. You don't need to, but I'm just doing this so the popsicle stick This might be hard, but just roll the tape and put it in like that. If it doesn't stick, just take a, another piece and then on the edge you put me that and then that. The popsicle stick can get more strength. Then just put a little tape there. And we're done with the small funnel and we can use this for later or you can use these two sheets of paper so now I roll it side to side this funnel is gonna be a little more bigger Tape it on the edges and the middle. If it, if, if it is too big like mine, you can roll it up and make it smaller. If this the small file doesn't go out like this might be two centimeters if it doesn't come out there cut a little off it cut it out and i'm just gonna cut this and you put it in so check if 
it comes out a little, uh, a little more so it can come out more. It like has to be like that. So now I'm gonna take this sheet of paper and cut it in half. And I have a smaller sheet. I'm gonna cut that in half and then use this to make the rectangles. You basically like just do rectangles. It has to be a little thick. Then I'm gonna fold it. Tape it around and on the edges like that. It should look like this. And then take this rectangle and take the bigger funnel, get tape. I'm gonna put it on the table so I don't have to do that. And then I'm just gonna take the tape and then take these together. Make sure it's strong and it sticks to the surface of the paper funnel. I'm just gonna add a little more tape so it's a little more stronger. And you take this part, make another rectangle, and fold it. If it is too big, cut a little of it. So I'm just gonna take one of one part around and then I'm gonna make this a rectangle again. Get a piece of tape. Do that again. Take both of them. I'm gonna do this. Just take one and then put the other one. Oh no, it's falling out. And tape around it. Or you could just lay them like that. And then do that. And then you have rectangle for this side. Just check if, if the if some comes out there and the rectangle fits here. If it does, you can tape it. If it doesn't, you can cut some of that. And then and then tape. I'm gonna make sure it's strong. For this one, I'm gonna tape it here too. And I'm gonna do that same thing here also. So if the tape covers this up, just tuck it in there. And then this is uh, almost the last step you need to do. Take your piece of paper and 
get some scissors, then cut it in half. So get a strip and this is not needed uh, it's an aimer it's a good feature to have but it's really not needed so I'm just gonna take a little tape and then put it on one end then I'm gonna take another piece of tape put it on the other end and then I'm basically like just making a small bridge. If it doesn't stay stable, and then just inside, tape it a little inside. like that and I'm gonna do that on the other side too this might be a little hard but mostly just tug it in and then our last step insert the small funnel inside the big one then take the rubber band, stretch it uh, If you put a little tape here, uh, I think you should take it off because the, the rubber band needs to hang on to the paper Yeah, I insert it and then the rubber band goes there and there. Now you can take um take that and then you can take the rubber band now. And that is the gun. You can make a paper bullet like this. You, you can just take a piece of scrap and, and then just tape it. Basically, not too hard. And then you pull the trigger, put the bullet in, and there you go. Then I'm gonna try another time uh, so you can see clearly. Pull the trigger, hold it, put the bullet in, and it shoots. So since we have made the origami, now I'm gonna explain the science behind it. So when I pull the trigger, the rubber band makes force and and then I let go it it pushes the bullet and the rubber band releases its force and gets back to its normal shape and that's the science behind the mini gun it's your turn to do yeah make the mini gun at your house Thank you for watching viewers, please support and subscribe my channel.